Hey you guys, what's up? First of all, let me just tell you guys this. I really was not about to take this wig off for like at least a few more days because seriously, I really do love the wig. It is so bomb as hell and I really didn't want to take it off, okay? When I find one that I really like, I, I will keep it on and keep it part of my collection. So this is how I felt about this wig. But like today's Memorial Day. I'm not really sure when this video is going to go up, but I know it's not going to be on Memorial Day. DHL rang my doorbell and I really didn't think they was going to be delivering because the mailman ain't coming. They brought me this wig and I'm like, okay, I might just have to take this wig off right now. I've never heard of this company. They are actually new because they did inform me that they were a new company. And I'm like, okay, impressed. Hello. First, let's talk about the fake scalp. Okay, so now y'all know I reviewed a fake scalp bob wig like a minute ago. That one was nice. It was nice because you didn't have to really do much. My concern with that one was with the actual stocking cap that was sewed onto the cap. What happens when it gets old? Because you can feel it. It's right there. There's nothing protecting it. So what happens to that stocking cap when it gets old? Runs will come in it and it'll just start wear and tear. But if you know, if you're not wearing it every day, then you'll be okay for a while. But you know, that's just what I thought. So anyway, a package robbed today by a company that is new called Royal Me. Okay but damn do you guys see this okay like i got this in the mail well by dhl so they're called royal me all right i did open it but then i put it back together q box white bow all that good stuff you know what i'm saying even though that might not count to a lot of people some people really like it's going for the packaging of units the main thing that's it is inside like I could care less if you put it in a plastic bag if that wig don't even look like a wig girl and it's really nice then I could care less about the packaging but the packaging is bomb as hell okay so it's nice it's just nice it's really nice so it did have tissue paper over it like that and like there wasn't anything else in the box like there wasn't any elastic there wasn't like a comb or anything like that but i you know i really could care less about all the extra stuff it has a pre-plucked hairline pre-bleached knot um this wig requires nothing to do like so it's possible you could just wear this straight out of the box okay and that's what we're going to do no cap no bleaching no plucking no diy needed no longevity concerns washable and wearable so i can't remember what type of hair texture it was so i'll definitely link it below for you guys but it is a straight wig okay so that's that's what i do now now look Everything is done for you, and it got some really nice highlights in it. Look at that. That's pretty. This is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay? So, this is already done for you. Press. You could just put this on and wear it. Okay? But... But damn, inside there is a stocking cap sewn, okay? Over top of it is like a protectant lace. Just like the regular lace that this is made of. They have a protective shield over this, which is like, hello, definitely a good idea because this will protect the stocking cap. So I'm feeling this, okay? And also there are combs in the front, which, you know, is standard for all the units. And they've also put in one of their elastic bands, which you can definitely take off if you want it to and then in the back is the normal so i'll definitely leave the specs um below for you guys but it's a nice pretty shade of chestnut brown in it so let's get into this you know what i'm saying we're gonna get into this video okay okay so let's get into this first thing i'm gonna do is take this wig off that i already have on girl i really do like this wig but we're about to try this one out by royal me so i'm just gonna brush it unsnap the back or unhook the back and you know run my fingers right here and just take my bottle of conditioned water and spritz it right in where the hairspray was holding the wig you don't really do need to do a lot just spritz some nice cool water or warm water whatever your preference is and just massage it into your scalp and that hairspray will definitely loose up it also makes the wig wearable the next day because it just has the hairspray on it so all you basically need to do is just brush it off with a toothbrush better than the gel so here we go this is the royal me unit which is the fake scalp and i really am feeling this fake scalp method i'm really glad that they went ahead and applied the lace over the stocking cap that makes a world of difference it'll allow your wig to last longer in the long run so here i'm just going to go ahead and take my two hair clips and you definitely need these when you are applying your wig because you don't want the hair to get all in your face and in a way and get stuck together so the first thing you want to make sure to have is a small pair of scissors when cutting the lace in the front 
not to cut too close to the hairline because you don't want any of the hairs to fall out. If they do, then you're definitely going to have to make a new hairline, girl. Now, if you prefer bigger scissors, that's your preference. But I just apply, I like to use the smaller scissors because I, you know, they're smaller, they're more precise. You don't do any accidental cutting, you know. So I just think like small scissors are a lot better. You can definitely pick these up anywhere Walmart, Dollar Tree. You can get them in like the aisles where they have like the fingernail clips in. You can buy them as a kit. You don't need any specific brand or anything like that. Just a nice pair of small sharp scissors will do you justice. Trust me. I only use the small ones for cutting lace off. So once I've cut that off, I did notice that just a little tad bit of the lace was over my ear right here, as you guys see. And this also makes a world of difference when customizing it. You want to make sure that that wig cap is fitting properly. So if you do have any bit of lace, even the tiniest bit, you want to make sure to cut it off because it will allow your, la your lace wig to lay a lot flatter to your head. And in this step right here, it's very optional. I'm just going to make me some baby hairs along with that. I'm also making a sideburn hair right here, which you see. I'm just going to take my rat tail comb you don't need a lot of hair but like I say always it's your preference of how much you want so this is about enough for me you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna just take a little bit more which will be the wispy hairs or the baby hairs whatever you want to call them girl and I'm just going to use my small scissors and cut me a nice amount of length for my sideburn hairs and then I'm just gonna take those scissors and kind of like kind of not cut them blunt but just kind of like shred them a little bit I think that's the right word to use I'm not really sure girl but you know you know what I'm doing I'm just going to kind of like you know make them look as neat as possible I don't want a blunt cut so that is the reason why you see me working the scissors like that way so that way the ends are not sharp on the actual baby hairs because you know you really don't want them to be sharp you want them to have like a little nice curvage you know nothing too, too sharp you know what I'm saying? And once you've got that all established, as you see me doing here, you want to take your styling mousse. And I'm going to be using the Got To Be Fantastic. You can use any styling mousse that you like. But I'm going to use this one because this is what I had on hand. And I'm just going to sculpt my baby hairs into place. Along with that, my sideburn hairs. And I'm just going to be using an edge brush. But, you know, you use whatever you want, girl. Whatever you like. And, yeah, just sculpt those. I prefer to use the styling mousse or even I'll also spray a little bit of hair spray onto my toothbrush to make my baby hairs or sideburns I don't really use gel to make my baby hairs or wispy hairs only because the gel makes the hair hard and I don't want it stuck to my head so as you see here I'm just spraying some of that hairspray onto my toothbrush and I'm also going to be styling them that way I don't spray all of the hairspray onto the hair you don't want the entire hair to be hard you just want to spray it on your toothbrush so that way those wispy hairs have the control that you want meaning and you want to brush them the way or style them the way you want you'll have the hairspray on the toothbrush so that way it goes directly onto the hair that you are trying to style it's a lot easier versus spraying it on the entire head now as you see here I'm just going to blow dry that hairspray into place along with that I did spray just a little bit of that hairspray onto the lace by the hairline just to adhere it you don't have to do that but you know I'm just showing you guys how I apply my wigs and I just take the blow dryer and I apply it on cool or medium heat if you don't have a blow dryer it's okay this hairspray does dry super fast so if you don't have a hair uh, a blow dryer you could just press it down with your rat tail cone until it dries just do small sections and this is what it came out to look like it was straight you know what I mean I was trying to be lazy this particular day and just leave it straight after styling it so yeah it didn't really work out in my favor but prior to that I did take my wax stick which is my flyaway tamer and I'm just going to use that on where I want to make my part because you girls know I am not a huge fan of a middle part Scott's to do with that long head of mine okay so I'm just gonna take that and I'm going to put it all around the front perimeter and where I want the part at because I'm going to be taking my hot comb and I'm going to train the part so this hot comb is not one of my favorites um, I do prefer another brand which has a temperature control on it this one does not um, I normally use I think it is like the Adele I'm not really sure what's the name of it but I did get it from Walmart for $20 
dollars the one that i always use that has the temperature control on it this one just gets hot but girl let me tell y'all this thing seems like it takes forever to get hot and it really wasn't hot enough for this portion and i let it heat up for 15 minutes and no it only has an off and on and off switch as you see right there attached for it so i really prefer the one that gets um the temperature control i do believe this brand is the annie brand and yeah it seemed like it worked really good in the beginning when i first received it but it doesn't so yeah so now that i decided i wanted a side part i'm just going to fix up my baby hairs because i did have them placed for a middle part and that didn't work out so i'm just going to go ahead and readjust them and I'm just going to do the same method, a little bit of sculpting, hairspray, and along with a little bit of sculpting mousse. But you will see me come back in the video with an entirely different style because like I said, I was lazy. So this is it straight. It's not too bad, but for me, I would really prefer it more styled. And as you see, the hot comb didn't get hot. So two days later, and this is what I used. I used a one inch curling barrel and I'm just going to go ahead and fix it up once again. And then we're going to get into the style portion of this. But I do think that it came out really nice. And this is the Got To Be Volume Maniac hairspray, which has a really dramatic cold along with that it'll give you plenty of volume so check out ulta.com or you can go in store and check it out it's 4 dollars on sale and i think the normal price is like six bucks but you cannot beat that so you guys let me know what you think let's get into the rest of this video All right, all right, okay, you guys. So this is like days later after I actually did the initial video. You know, I have been having to do quite a few videos over, only like three. But you know, I really I like the wig a lot, but I just wasn't fond of how I styled it. I just think that I didn't do my my duty. It's probably because I was lazy that day. So I decided to um, use a one and a half inch barrel to curl this. It took me like five minutes. I just took big chunks of hair and just curled it. And I used a new hairspray this time. I did use the same hairspray to apply it, which was the Got To Be Glam Force, as you guys seen in the video. But I did use the Got To Be Volumaniac, Volumaniac um, Botify Hairspray. And this has, from root to tip, it has a crazy boost and it has a dramatic hold. I did get this from Ulta for $4.99. I had it uh, mailed to me, shipped to me, because I did not see it in stores. It was, it was there, but all they had left was the mousse. And I did get the mousse, but I wanted the hairspray and I also wanted the Glam Force. So I just decided to order it online. I do like this one also. I've been using this for a couple of days. As for Royal Mead, the wig is like bomb as hell. Like seriously, I think like for it to be a fake scalp, I really appreciate the fact that they put some lace over that stocking cap so that way it doesn't deteriorate over time you know it's a stocking cap it's not going to last that long so once you start washing it and wearing it it's going to start having runs in it it's going to lose its elasticity it's just going to lose a lot of stuff so i'm glad that they put the lace over it because that made a world of difference this is the second fake scalp lace front that i've ever had and i like this one the most simply because of that lace coverage over the stocking cap that makes a world of difference like seriously you need that they did a really great job with this i'm not really sure how new this company is but they did a really great job at this fake scalp wig like for reals the day that i got it was the day that i did the video which was crazy because i never do that but i felt like i would be safe with this wig and so you can check them out i'll post the information below for you guys for royal me hair um this came out cute it looks way better now that i've styled it okay the color in this is gorgeous i love the way they customized and made this cap they did the damn thing so you guys yes definitely check them out let me know what you think did you like it down straight did you are you glad that i came back and redid it like stop being lazy april just like do your work and you know stuff like that i love you guys and i'll see you soon